your booty it's my like something I can eat hi guys welcome to my channel for those who don't know me my name is Kareen and I will be doing a wash and go featuring the meal pomegranate and honey collection now these products are made by a black woman and they're supposed to be for a type 4 natural hair so today we're gonna put them to the test and see if them worth the hype i've never used them before so you and i will be testing them together and i will be giving my honest review so if this is something that you'd be interested in please like the video subscribe and share it share it to somebody who might also find this video interesting so let's get straight into it so today I have three products with me from the line that I've heard great things about. Firstly, I have the leave-in conditioner and it is said on the bottle that the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner is a moisture sealant and cuticle smoother to provide natural curls, creating the optimal foundation for deeper, long-lasting curl definition. I also have the curl smoothie and this is said to give a soft definition for weightless curls adding shine and preventing frizz it also provides deeper definition for finer hair types and can be used as a daily moisturizer to provide long lasting intense hydration to dry curls and of course i have the male coil sculpting custard and this is said the coil sculpting custard is lightweight easy to finger comb for a long lasting deep definition and brilliant shine this is what it looks like and if you want to see the consistency yeah so it smells just like the leave-in conditioner and i'm assuming that the curl smoothie smells the same so i have freshly washed hair just wash and i also have my spray bottle because i will be applying this on soaking wet hair i always do my wash and goes with my hair dripping wet so i have my handy dandy spray bottle i have my rat tail comb also my just a comb for comb on my hair i may also use my denman brush so enough of the talking let's actually get into the wash and go so i like to work on my hair when it's extremely wet so i will be wet soaking my hair with the water and then i'll just be detangling first i'll be applying the leave-in conditioner and this is what it looks like I'll just be applying that all over my hair. And you have to ensure that you get it on the ends as well because the ends usually tend to frizz first. So I will go in with the curl smoothie. And this one is a bit more, it's a different consistency from the leave in conditioner. So, this is what it looks like. And people, the products smell amazing. I can't stop saying it. They smell like something I can eat. So, I'm just going to comb out that to evenly distribute the products. And I will apply the coil sculpting custard on a smaller section of hair. So, so I'll just get that out the way. So now, time for the moment of truth. So now, I'll be using the coil sculpting coaster and again, this is what it looks like. So, I have this amount. So let's see. And I'll be using my fingers to just distribute the product. Use some more because I feel it's extremely light, 
going into my hair you know feel like a bag a bag of cake up cake up it just feels light mm. I don't know how I feel about it yet but let's continue and see oh the rest of my hair work so let's do this section spray it a bit more All right, I can definitely say it does not feel like like a eco gel or a extreme gel. It just feels light. I'm not able to put anything in my ear, so I don't know how I feel about it. This is what it looks like. Let's move on. I'll do this front piece right here, the side piece I should say, and again of course you want to spray, 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 and ensure that your hair is wet. And then I'm going to apply the leave-in conditioner. I have this amount. Also, with the curls, I have this out. You can't get over the smell. So, I don't usually do finger coils in my hair, but if your hair requires finger coiling, then you can just do that. So, I'm going in now with the coil sculpting custard. Is it custard? Yeah. So yeah, I don't usually like custards to be honest, but I really wanted to test these products. So uh, it really is nothing like the extreme gel that I always use. And I was actually expecting more from this, no lies, but I really want to find a product that will at least give me some curl and moisture at the same time. Now the extreme and the eco, they, if you know them, you know so them, they're gonna leave your hair feeling like a crunchy. Mm. I don't know how I feel guys I don't know <sighs> moving on moving right along to the next section and by the way these products if you're gonna get them in Jamaica you're looking at about 2600 per product i don't think i would purchase back the the curl smoothie i just got it because it was a a deal on amazon i'm gonna just get the three of them but i would just stick with the leave-in conditioner and Going in with the leave-in, you see what that does a slip out of my hand? And then with the curl smoothie. bad people look on it and they look bad you know you know look all that bad still so all right we're not knock it we're not knock it we'll continue we'll go through 
We have got two people. We have got two people. So is it coming along nicely? What do y'all think? So leave a comment and tell me what you think about the product so far. So yeah, I really want you guys to interact in the comment section so that you know I know how to feel. I'm just applying a little bit more of the leaving. This is the last piece in this side of my head. So let's and the front of my hair is usually the easiest part to curl. I think it has a different so even if all my hair is like 4B, I think like the front front, like this section right here, is closer to 4A actually. So let's see how it will take the product. So let's see. going into the next section of this and this is um, the product that I'm using right now I also go in for a little more for the ends as I must say the ends usually freeze first so you see what I'm saying about the front the front of my hair is usually <laughs> takes a better curl pattern well I don't know it has a different curl pattern So the front section. So I'm going to do the next section of my hair and I'm going to get back to you when I'm at the front. So stay tuned. So I have done almost the entire right section. So I will be doing this piece on camera. And I usually, based on the style that I'm going for, I'll be curling this side to this direction. But the, the, the coil sculpting custard is extremely runny. So, yeah. It will get all over the place. So this is what I'm working with. It's not as defined as if I was using the gel, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to style it to my liking. This is so hard to do on camera. I'm just going to style it and use a bit of got to be on the edges to keep it intact. So I'm just going to do this part off camera and, and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. So this is what the finished product is looking like and I just used some got to be and lay the sides but as far as this is basically what it looks like. So as far as definition I kind of was expecting a little bit more. You know, because of the hype surrounded around the product, I was expecting a bit more definition. But I mean, this 
it's workable I, I can work with it as far as the smell of the product it smells amazing I can't say that enough it smells amazing the application is smooth and light it's a bit runny but to be honest I think I'm just being a little bit too hard on the, gel, the, the custard because I'm so used to the gels but maybe this is what I need for my hair because as I said I'm trying to get rid of the crunchy feeling and if this dries and leaves my hair feeling soft and moisturized I might just stick with it or mix it with the extreme but yeah I can check in again when it's at when it's at least 50% dry so you can stay tuned to the end for that but for now if you liked this tutorial and you like the product and you like how it looks please give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and share again share the video to someone with someone who may just find it helpful so i'm i'm anxious to see how this will dry All right, so i'm back and my hair is basically 80 percent dry and this is exactly what it looks like i must say the moisture is still there it's light it's bouncy you know no form of crunch at all so thumbs up for that i like it i think I, I would use it again so that's basically it for my video thank you guys for watching if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and share share the video with someone who also may find this video helpful thanks for watching